Hi class, good morning. How are you doing? How is your day going? Is everything okay? Okay, okay. It's really great to be here with you in this, your project, your English class. Um, I hope you uh, solved all the USA Learn unit. Uh, today is our uh, 101 class and we are in a B1 level. So that's why I'm speaking a little bit more English, but uh, I speak slowly, I speak clear. So I think you are understanding all that I said. Okay, today we have a new one topic. This is a simple one topic, but it's really, really important. Indefinite pronouns. Okay, the indefinite pronouns eh, are people there or something there, but you don't know who is it. Okay, I'm going to explain you better because I need you do it better. You do it good. So that's why let's see what happened here. So indefinite pronouns refer to things or people without mentioning what or who they are, ¿ok? En español rápidamente. Eh, los pronombres indefinidos son o se refieren a cosas, personas que no mencionamos, pero están ahí. Por ejemplo, si yo te digo, alguien me dijo, pues hay un sujeto, alguien, pero no estamos siendo muy definidos de quién o qué es. Entonces, esa es la función gramatical de los pronombres indefinidos. So, don't forget it. Indefinite pronouns refer things or, pe or people without saying who is. Ok, for example, somebody told me you were abroad. Eh, nobody came to the meeting. Was there anybody in the house? So let's practice. I'm going to teach you how to write indefinite pronouns. So look at this chart. We have different kind of indefinite pronouns, like everybody, everyone, everything. Okay, body is when you talk about People, hmm? everybody, everybody, nobody, somebody, anybody. So we have anybody, maybe this, this kind of, of indefinite pronoun is new for you because anybody just appear when you write negative sentence or questions. So that's why you have to be careful with anybody. Now, everybody, you could write everybody a affirmative, whatever. So you could write indefinite pronouns with present, past, future. It's not really important the time because a you could uh, say it like a Spanish. Ah, everybody is in my party. Everybody was in my party. Everybody will be in my party. So you could add this kind of indefinite pronouns everywhere, everywhere. Okay, so uh, look at this. Everybody, everybody is like a subject. Yeah, so everybody, simple present sentence. For example, everybody walk, everybody walk um, fast. For example, everybody walk fast because was an accident, so that's why everybody walk fast, but it's really important you know something. When you write an indefinite pronoun, you have to be careful because you have to add S here. 
You said, but why teacher? Everybody's many people. I don't know why. Do you add the S of the end of the word, of the verb? So uh, the reason is a, a simple one reason. Always, don't forget it. When you write an indefinite pronoun, you have to be careful because the indefinite pronoun is singular, singular. No matter if you are talking about everybody and you think it's many, many people. No, everybody is a singular one subject. Like uh, everybody, like uh, everyone, always when you write an indefinite pronoun, think about a singular or third person of singular. So that's why if you are writing uh, about simple present time, you have to add dice. Everybody was fast. You could write this uh, sentence also in past. For example, everybody. So I don't like everybody. I could write everyone because it's the same. Everybody and everyone are the same words. So everyone walked, walked. Okay, past is not really important. Change another word. You know, at the bear on past way or on past form. Everybody, everybody walked fast. So here we have many indefinite pronouns. Everybody is the same or is like a everybody. Nobody or no one, similar or the same. Somebody, someone, the same is similar. A uh, somebody is a middle one term. Some people 50-50. Uh, nobody, 0%. Everybody, 100%. Um, anybody or anyone is, are indefinite pronouns, special, or oh, you use this one when you said questions or negative sentence. So I'm gonna explain you later when you have to write anybody or anyone. Everybody is like a everyone, are the same, just four people. Here said four people. When we talk about things, everything, nothing, something or anything. Anything is like uh, anybody or anyone, just for negative sentence or questions. Okay, everything, nothing, something is, are when you talk about things. Things, everybody when you talk about people. But here, uh, I don't know why, but there isn't. Uh, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere is when you talk about places. Uh, nowhere, nowhere is an uh, an expression too. Uh, and somewhere, also you could find anywhere. Okay, uh, this one with where is when you talk about places, okay? When you talk about places. I want to show you some examples about it. Okay, here there are many examples. How do you use this topic? in a real life, in a simple time, with a to be verb, with past, okay. So, somebody cleans the classroom every day. Don't forget it at the S, because 
indefinite pronouns is a singular one pronoun. So read it. Somebody cleans the classroom every day. I don't know who, but somebody did it. Uh, everyone is here. Mm -hmm. It's clear. Somebody stole my wallet. On questions, you could find these uh, indefinite pronouns too. Does anybody know who he is? Does anyone have a blue pen? Everyone can answer this easy question. Can anyone answer this question? Everybody enjoyed the concert. Nobody came. Nothing happened. They were saying nobody's house. It is this anybody's coat? Okay, so we have many examples. So this is an affirmative sentence. Somebody cleans. Simple present time. So that's why you have to add the is because a uh, indefinite pronouns always is like a third person of singular. It's singular, so that's why with if you write this kind of uh, indefinite pronouns, you have to add to be bare, but the to be bare is is. Everyone is here. Mm. Somebody stole my wallet. This is a past form of this uh, irregular bear. Okay. We are uh, writing here a, a question. Does anybody know? Okay, don't forget it. I told you if you are writing a question, you need anybody. Anybody is an indefinite pronoun special for questions. So does anybody know who is he? Does, because it's third person of singular and is a present one, a present simple question. Does anybody know who is he? Does anyone, I prefer anybody or anyone is the same. Don't forget it, body or, or one eh, are the same words. Does anyone have a blue pen? It's a question, so that's why you use any. Everyone can answer this easy question. It's not a question, so it's an affirmative. Everyone can answer this easy question. Everyone. It's really simple one, so everybody, everybody everyone can answer this. Nobody came, nobody. Nothing happened past a passport of this bear. Uh, they were staying in somebody's house. So we are uh, writing here a uh, uh, progressive time, past progressive time. So you could add indefinite pronouns in past, present, future is not uh, a difficult. Uh, is this anybody's code? Again, another question. So if you write a question, don't forget, said any, anybody. It's like a subject, so you could add the possessive form. Okay, now I I feel, I, I think you understand a, this kind of a, indefinite pronouns. So right now you have to solve this activity. So I'm gonna give you two minutes to solve it, solve it. The movie was in Japanese, so I couldn't understand nothing because I don't know Japanese. So here you have to write Nothing, nothing, good. Alonso is sad because nobody 
o no one. No one or nobody. No one remember his birthday. That's why he is sad. Uh, poor man, he have to do, poor man, we have to do something, something to help him, something. I couldn't see Andres at that study. In fact, I didn't see because the place was crowded. If you say crowded is because you are talking about many, many people that is not possible, nothing, because you are looking for a people, for a person, Andres. I couldn't see Andres at the starting. So in fact, I didn't saw nobody, nobody or no one. Okay, please tell the salesman at the door that we don't want to buy Nothing. Okay. Six. Your secret is safe with me. I won't tell nothing. Or your secret is safe with me. I won't tell nobody. No se lo contaré a nadie o no contaré nada. Okay. This one is a question and it's not a question. So it uh, lives here. Ah, okay, this is a dot. So that's why this is a first idea and second, another idea. So it uh, lives here. Is dirty and old. Ah, is old. So that's why nobody or no one, nobody lives here with S because don't forget it is third person of singular. Nobody lives here. Uh, everything, everything is dirty and old. So that's why everything is dirty and old. Um, could have stolen your car. The garage is unsafe. The thief could jump. Ah, here they are talking about a possible person. So you have an idea uh, about this indefinite pronoun. Okay, someone, someone or somebody, somebody, somebody could have stolen your car. The garage is unsafe. A thief could jump over the wall. So uh, it's your fault. Mm, last one is ringing the bell. Go and see who it is. Just looking this who you could uh, find the answer. So it's a person, so someone, alguien, someone, or somebody, somebody. Somebody is ringing the bell. Go and see who it is. Okay. Congratulations to you. Good job. You did an excellent one exercise. Right now, let's uh, practice in our page, in our USA page. This is an interesting place where you could uh, practice this topic. Don't forget it. Uh, look for USA Learns um, here. Menu, 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 menu. Okay, so I am late. So that's why I have to uh, start this process. And now you could find the indefinite pronoun in a second course is one of these activities you could find here. And then uh, let's practice unit three, unit three, then you could find this topic, unit 12, object pronoun and, what is it? Object pronoun and indefinite pronoun. So let's practice, let's learn a little bit more about this topic. Someone, anyone, 
everybody, everyone, or no one. Indefinite pronouns refer to unidentified people or things as a subject. These pronouns use singular, there, or person, always in singular, with is, with does, always like that. Affirmative sentence. So this is our first example. Someone has taken the petitions. They saw someone sitting on the beach. Everyone will be here. We want everyone to come to our party. No one likes Mr. Vargas. He trusts no one in the family. Anyone can go to court. He will give anyone a right. Negative sentence, you could add this kind of even, uh, uh, indefinite pronouns with negative statements. So I didn't invite everyone to my party. I don't see anyone in the meeting room. So this is a, a little explain or a little a class about this topic. There are some people who want to shut us down. There are some people who want to shut us down. Oh, uh, this is a um, object pronoun. You know this topic. Look at this. Someone should tell her she's wrong. She doesn't even know us. Did you understand? Help me. Someone should tell her she's wrong. She doesn't even know us. Someone should tell her she's wrong. She doesn't even know us. It's a little bit confused. Someone should tell her she's wrong. She doesn't even know us. Someone should. Someone should tell her. Someone. Here, please open your ear and listen to this exercise. Well, all the people from the community. Did you tell them to come? Did you tell them to come? Don't forget it. Tell him. Tell him. Shonbe, calm down. If you get angry, no one's going to listen to us. Shonbe, calm down. If you get angry, no one's going to listen to us. No one's. No one's. Next one. Please open your ear. Look at her. She is ready. Look at her. Don't forget it, when you uh, listen a um, object pronoun, sometimes did that sound lost the H sound. So that's why you couldn't hear something like a uh, look at her. No, look at her. Look at her. She is ready. Good. And no one has ever complained to us. All we want to do is sell our goods. Yep. And, and no one has ever complained to us. All we want to do is sell our goods. Yep. Was clear, was clear. And the folder with the signatures was gone. Who took it? I don't know! And the folder with the signatures was gone. Who took it? I don't know! Took it. We've never had a problem with anyone. With anyone, so... We never had a problem with anyone. It's a, like a nothing. Okay. Place the signature with the correct pronoun. Type it. So, ah, this is an activity where you have to organize the sentence. Possible is possible. You have to add a word. Okay, the idea is a um, use or a practice a object pronoun and a indefinite pronoun. This unit is about it. So that's why I need you start from the beginning. Let's watch. And please under understand.
Today I am very sad. Rosalinda went on vacation with her parents. Oh, but never mind. Let's get back to learning English. Today you will learn about special types of pronouns. Object pronouns such as me, him, her, it, us, you, and them. And indefinite pronouns such as someone, anyone, everyone, and no one. You will also learn about civic participation. How can you participate in your community? How can you make changes in your neighborhood? Let's watch. Today I am very sad. Rosalinda went on vacation with her parents. Oh, but never mind. Let's get back to learning English. Today you will learn about special types of pronouns. Object pronouns such as me, him, her, it, us, you, and them. And Reporter. Reporter. Reporter is a new one, a vocabulary. Petition. Petition. But also, you could find another practice here in USA Learns, but in this unit. So let's see. So click on USA Learns. One plus, then unit second, then two dot three. Here you could find this topic two object pronoun, object pronoun, and you could practice about this kind of topic. But today we are talking about indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns. So you could find this topic uh, there and also, okay, let's practice uh, on second English core. You could practice one plus uh, and here. So let's see. Don't forget it, second English course. Then you go to the number three and 12. Here you could find this unit. Uh, we are learning about new words. So don't forget it. How do you pronounce it? Reporter. 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 Person who reports the news on TV, radio, or for a newspaper. Petition. 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 I don't know if you remember on phonetic class, I told you, tion sounds shown. Petition. A formal request to change a law or some other legal matter. Sign, but many people. It's a petition. Stand. 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 A small, a small table, bought or store where you sell things. Stand. Okay, I know. Last class, we did it. Last class, we learned this kind of words. So, what happened? You need just practice. Definition, match. Help me. We did it. Uh, listen much. Say listening. So let's practice. Listen. Petition. Petition. Here. Good. Petition. Stand. Stand. Where you sell something. Help me. Belong to. Belong to. Signature. Signature. Signature.
drugs. Drugs, not good. Goods. Goods. Things that you sell. In Spanish means mercancía. Faint. Faint. Reporter. Reporter. Illegal. Illegal. Something not legal. Okay. You could practice speaking here, but I'm interested on reading or um, videos. So a story start up. We saw this story uh, before. We watch this story before when we talk about object pronouns. So that's why I need learn new words. We are to solve it. Prove. Prove. To show that something is true. To give evidence. Prove. I prove that I didn't sell drugs. Represent. 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 To speak officially for another person or people. For example, a state senator. Represent. Represent. In Spanish, it's like a representar. Representante. Speak, hablar, representar. Okay. Corrupt. 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 It's like a Spanish. Someone who is not honest. Someone who lies, cheats, steals, or does other bad things. This is corrupt. A corrupt. Hazard. Hazard. Something that is dangerous, not safe. Hazard. Don't forget it. If you have a, I don't know, dots, you could find here the answer. Look at this. Dangerous. It's like a dangerous. Hazard. Hazard. Hazard is like a dangerous. Unusual. 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 Not typical. Not usual. Different from what is normal. Crime. Crime. Something illegal illegal or against the law. For example, robbing a bank. This is a crime. It's like a Spanish. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Crazy, foolish, silly, or stupid. It's like a stupid. Ridiculous. 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 Steal. Steal. To take something that is not yours. Steel rope. Steel. Oh, I'm lazy, girl. Lazy. Lazy. No waiting to work hard. Waiting an inactive and easy life. Just lazy. Lazy is an adjective. It's a qualified adjective. Don't forget it. Lazy. In Spanish means perezoso. Forgive. Forgive. It's a verb. To pardon or excuse someone. Forgive for something. If you do a mistake, I said, oh, yeah, I hate you. But later, I forgive you. I forgot your mistake. So that's why I forgive you. Defend. Defend. To protect against an attack. Or argue in favor of. So help me to find the word according with a definition. To show that something is true. To give evidence. So prove. I prove you. I never steal nothing. To speak official for any other person. Or people, for example, a state senator. So, 
3%. Help me, someone who is honest, someone who lies, cheats, steals, or does other bad things. This is a corrupt. Like, a, like here in Colombia, there are many corrupt people. So that's why we don't have a good um, kind of life or style of life. Something that is dangerous, no safe hazard. Dangerous. Um, next one. Help me to solve it. No typical, not usual. Different from what is normal. Unusual. Unusual. Next one said. Something illegal or against the law. For example, robbing a bank. So it's a crime. I can't do that. Crazy, foolish, silly, or stupid. It's like a ridiculous. ridiculous to take something that is not yours this is still and not waiting to work hard i'm a little bit lazy that's why i'm not waiting to work hard i'm waiting an inactive and easy life many people is like that to pardon or excuse someone for something bad they did, forgive. Say it's okay, no problem. Ah, okay, to protect against attack or argue in favor of defend. Okay, we learn many interesting things today. Defend, check, it's okay, so. Continue practicing. Hazard. Hazard. Okay, you could find here the pronunciation and could practice listening exercise. Okay, now let's watch a video. I need a video about it. Second vocabulary, we learn about it. So life skills, on life skills, you could find the words you already Lair. This is all right. It'll be fine. If they ask, just say what I told you to say. I can't lie to them. If you want to keep your job at the store, you'll tell them our little story. Clara! Are you all right? I heard you fainted. Oh, I'm fine, Charlie. Thank you for asking. This is my niece, Anna. Anna, this is City Councilman Joe. Hi. And this is my lawyer, Sam Powers. Mr. Jones sits on the city council. Pleasure to meet you, Councilman Jones. The pleasure is mine. I've heard about you, Clara. I think you're in good hands. Excuse me. I'll see you inside. <laughs> that way. Look at her. She is ready. Look at him. He looks so important. Look at us. We don't have a chance. Hi. What's happening? Where is everyone? They're on their way. What about the petitions? Where are they? To Shambi? Someone took them. Someone took them? I don't know what happened. After Mrs. Marcus fainted, I went back to the stand, and the folder with the signatures was gone. Who took it? I don't know! I bet Mrs. Vargas is responsible. We can't prove that. What are we going to do? Come on, guys. It's time to go. This meeting is called to order. The first issue on the agenda is street vending on Market Street. Representing the merchants is Clara Vargas. My name is Clara Vargas. 
one of the stores on Market Street belongs to me. But I speak for the other merchants on the street. Street vending hurts our business. There is too much noise and too much traffic because of street vendors. She's lying. Dushanbe, calm down. If you get angry, no one's going to listen to us. It is also not fair. I pay more taxes. I pay rent. They don't. I pay taxes. Please, sir, you'll have your turn to speak. Right now, it's Mrs. Vargas' turn. Thank you. But most of all, I care about the community. I saw street vendors taking drugs and selling stolen property. What a liar! Please, sir, calm down. You'll have to leave if you don't wait your turn. Go on, Mrs. Vargas. I think I'm done. And now we'll hear from the street vendors. Representing the street vendors is... Shambe Gabriel. Please come forward. Shambay, control yourself, okay? Stay calm. Mr. Gabriel, do you have something to say? I think I've had enough of these street vendors. Mr. Gabriel, do you have anything to say? Yes, I do. And freeze! Okay. Ok, si te das cuenta hemos venido observando varios videos sobre lo que está pasando en las ventas. ¿Por qué hacemos este ejercicio? Porque puedes contextualizar lo que estamos viendo. Something. Something. You could find something here in this reading, in this video. So I'm interested that you read, that you add this kind of topics in a real life. So... Uh, please complete this unit, hold this unit, and bye-bye. <laughs> Good job. See you tomorrow.